welcome to the show. My name's Shakri. I'm Ilham. And I'm Khalid. Thanks for listening. This is the first episode of Hub Radio. We hope you like the show. Coming up on the show, school dinners is something a lot of us can't avoid. What do we think of them since they changed over summer? Daniel left and a new company took over. We know some students don't always do the right, right thing and there has to be some rules. But are the teachers getting stricter? And is everyone following the rules? And we mean everyone? We'll be asking some students about whether they feel safe where they live. And of course, much more. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. My name's Khalud, so glad you can join us today. Everyone, everyone can't say they haven't heard anything in the news about crime in London, especially knife crime. Sadly, a lot of crimes in, we read about are in South London. The government de- department called the Home Office is responsible for dealing with crime and they produce reports about how much crime is happening. I looked, I looked up some information about crime in this area and it doesn't make us look too good. They compare the numbers for the area of Southwark and the rest of England. In England, there is one robbery offence per 1,000 people in the population. In Southwark, it's, it is seven times that. Violent crimes against people in England is 15 in 1,000, but for Suffolk, it's 11. That's more than double. Other types of crime are really high too. The level of cars stolen is almost double. We, we hear about these kind of things all the time, but how often do we see them with our, with our own eyes? Well, I would, just, I would just like to tell you something, something that happened right next to my house. It was a cu- gun crime. Obviously, I think we should stop knife and gun crime it scares children and local people also it's often teenagers doing these things once next to the tunnel where the blue market is there was a gun crime and I live next to the blue market library I was really scared that time I, I and I come to school I come and go to school alone so that's quite nerve-wracking can you imagine living somewhere where you don't feel safe Everyone wants to feel safe where they live. So I want to ask you the question. Do you feel safe on where you live? Do you feel safe around your area? Yes, I do. Because there's not, there's actually quite a few kids, but they don't make, make much, they do not make much hassle. So I do feel safe. But then sometimes I hear some men who are drunk around the area, like further on, and they sometimes like shouting and, you know, drunk. Yeah, there's people there to defend me. No, I don't, because all the time I hear gunshots around my area and, and all the gangs are around it, so I don't feel safe. No, because there's a lot of gangs and people get stabbed and beaten up and getting shot. Yeah, I do feel safe around my area because um, cars pass around and it makes you feel safe. There's usually It's usually full, so I feel safe around there. I do, because every time there's community wardens around our area and protect us. Yeah, I feel safe from my area I know there's lots of community offers around the area and my school makes me feel very safe as well because they put me on the bus when I go home so yeah I do. Most people seem to say that they felt safe where they lived but what about you? Do you feel safe on where you live? Why not send us a message? You can do that by going to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash HAB radio or at twitter.com slash HAB underscore radio or follow the links on the Harris Academy Bermondy website. Thanks to everyone who gave us their opinions and if you've got any other issues you'd like to talk about then drop us a line. This is Khalud for HAB Radio. Listen again next week. Remember to listen to the next episode and all past episodes. Visit us at youtube.com forward slash hubradio.